Well, what a beautiful day and what a great crowd we have. Uh, my name is Heather Lewis. I'm vice chair of the board of the Hamilton Community Foundation, and it's my honor and privilege to welcome you here today. This is a very exciting day for the foundation, for runners, for walkers, for cyclists, and for our entire community. This day has been a long time in coming. The Hamilton Community Foundation first announced the extension of the bikeway as one of our 50th anniversary gifts in 2001. And yes, I said 2001, a decade and a half ago. For a variety of reasons, completion took quite a while to accomplish. But in 2012, we dedicated phase one of the extension from this point north to Rentschler Forest Metro Park. And today we're pleased to dedicate phase two from this location to downtown Hamilton, where the bikeway connects with the existing trail that extends through Joyce Park and into Waterworks Park in Fairfield. Uh, this project would not have happened without the hard work of many, many groups and individuals, and it's my privilege to thank some of those folks today. First and foremost, Dave Ballou. Dave was the visionary for this project, and he has worked tirelessly over the years to bring it to fruition, and you will hear from Dave in a few minutes. The Hamilton Community Foundation Board and staff Throughout the years, our board and staff have remained very committed to this project, but John Gajuli in particular championed this project from the beginning and has provided the leadership over the last decade and a half to get this across the finish line, and we'd like to thank him. We want to thank our many partners, the City of Hamilton, the Miami Conservancy District, Fairfield Township, Butler County and the Butler County Engineer's Office, the State of Ohio and Ohio Department of Natural Resources, Butler County Metro Parks, and Hans Landefeld, who has assisted us throughout this project. He first assisted when he was working for the Miami Conservancy District, and then he became our consultant when he retired from the Conservancy. We also want to thank the contractors who did such a fabulous job on this project. And most importantly, on behalf of the board, I want to thank the generous donors of the Hamilton Community Foundation. They make everything the foundation does possible, Without our donors, we couldn't have done this or any other projects that we have completed over the last 64 years, so thank you to them. Uh, this is an exciting day for all of us, and I want to thank you for being here, for finding this location and being here on the bike path today to join us. We hope that you'll come back often to use this trail, bring your family, bring your friends, bring your neighbors. We are so fortunate to have this great amenity in our community, and we hope you will use it and enjoy it for many years to come. And now it is my honor and pleasure to introduce the man who, make, who made this all a reality, Mr. Dave Ballou. Well, I was just one of many people working on this project. In 1999, the Hamilton Community Foundation was planning its 50th anniversary. And it decided to celebrate this important milestone by making several major significant gifts to the city. These included a complete renovation of Veterans Lodge at Hillcrest Park, now known as Michael J. Colligan Lodge and Veterans Park. The creation of a beautiful park downtown on High Street, Lentil Park. The building of a new ballpark, Foundation Field behind Booker T. Washington Community Center. A new skateboard park in Joyce Park. And the monumental entrance sign and landscaping on 129. In 2001, as Heather mentioned in April, actually of 2001, the city announced its largest legacy project, a $2 million five mile extension to the Great Miami River bike path. We held a press conference at the Fitton Center and we unveiled a huge map which traced the trail five miles north. There, we emphasized that when complete, this path would connect 16 different parks with almost 900 acres. It would provide scenic areas for everyone to enjoy, for those who want to bike, hike, jog, <coughs> or skate. For many years, there had been talk about a bike path. It was on the wish list of many citizens. There had been meetings, hopes, and dreams. Sometimes it takes a long time for a dream to be fulfilled. In this case, 14 years from the announcing day. But it was not an impossible dream. 
And today we celebrate that reality. And now I turn the podium over to Hans Landenfeld, who has been a consultant to us on this project. Good afternoon, everyone. Rubik's Cube. Think about that for a minute. What kind of memories does that bring back for you? It was invented by a guy named Erno Rubik in 1974. Did anybody here ever solve a Rubik's Cube? Finding a route for this bikeway has been lengthy and in many ways not unlike solving Rubik's Cube. With many false starts and dead ends along the way, it has been a real challenge and it took a long time. My involvement's been about 15 years. While we were trying to solve our cube in Hamilton, a major visioning for the Great Miami River Recreation Trail was underway. The plan was to link all the cities along the Great Miami River with a single trail stretching from Sydney to Fairfield. While disconnected pieces of that Riverside Trail were built in several communities between 1975 and 1990, like the one in Hamilton, each trail had a different name with no overarching plan to connect them. Once the disconnected pieces all became recognized as part of one project, one trail, the Great Miami River Recreation Trail then became easier for communities to rally around, making, making the connections and, and completing the trail. It was really an exercise in branding. By creating a single name, a brand was created and it was promoted to trail enthusiasts, city planners, park districts, and counties up and down the river. It wasn't just locals that got behind the plan. The state noticed too, and funding from the Clean Ohio Trail Plan provided millions in funding for the Great Miami River Recreation Trail development. This section of trail that we dedicate today is part of that vision to connect disparate pieces of trail to form one trail. A trail stretching 90 miles from Sydney to Fairfield, a trail connecting over half a million Ohioans. The beauty of a trail is that anyone can use it. No special skills or equipment is needed. Unlike many recreational improvements, it serves no single age group and can be enjoyed by all dawn to dusk. Now, kids can use the trail to get to soccer practice in Ranchler Forest Metro Park, or a ball game in Joyce Park or Waterworks Park in Fairfield. The trail serves both recreational and transportation uses. While this trail was being developed, trail construction exploded across the country, and nowhere was that more evident than in Southwest Ohio which today boasts having over 330 miles of connected trail. The nation's largest paved trail network. The longest single trail in that network is the Great Miami River Recreation Trail. Hamilton's section is not yet a part of that network, but it will be. It's just a matter of time. This trail we open today closes a gap and that's important I say disconnected trails are like two magnets. The closer you get them together, the stronger the pull to join them. This is a trail that Hamilton can be proud of. We conquered our Rubik's Cube and it's ready to go. Let's use it. Now I'd like to introduce Hamilton's mayor, Pat Moeller. Wow, isn't it great when vision becomes reality? This is another one of those wow projects for Hamilton and the area surrounding Hamilton. First, let me say a heartfelt thanks to the Hamilton Community Foundation, Dave Ballou, uh, Ohio, the Clean Ohio Fund, and others who got this project, like Heather said, from the timeline to the finish line. I do wish that Vice Mayor Rob Weil was here today because he's definitely a champion of, of, of bike trails and other quality of life issues. I know this, this, this project means a heck of a lot to him. Second, have you noticed how many more bike racks you see on vehicles now in the city of Hamilton? Have you noticed how many people who kind of walk up to you and say, have you seen that new bike trail in Hamilton? And I've, I've had that happen to me several times this past week, last couple weeks. Somebody walks into my law office and says, have you been out there yet? Have you been near the canal? The, the scenes are, are unbelievable. So 
I've noticed that, and I think that says a lot about quality of life in Hamilton and how important this bike trail is to the city of Hamilton. Now, we're going to do a ribbon cutting here behind me, and I love to see folks from all the sponsoring organizations here right up front, but also folks that may have bike helmets on, bicycle jerseys on, rollerblades. I saw some rollerblades out there. So I think now it's time to have the official ribbon cutting. If you'll come on up here, we'll be part of that. And Hamilton thanks the city team as well, who was a big part of this project. Am I welcome? You put your hat on? Yeah, please. <laughs> Absolutely. There we go. One, two, three. Thank you all for coming. Hopefully you enjoy the, the trail and uh, take off down there. Thank you.